Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to uh, share with you the first instalment from a series that I'm going to do over the next few days and this is going to be a series of my top five products. So today is going to be about lipsticks. This could be regular lipsticks, liquid lipsticks and so forth but I'm also going to do blushes, highlighters, eyeshadows, all things like that. I love watching these type of videos because they really help me to decide on what I would like to purchase and also it it also shares with me products that I may not have heard of before or you know may have seen um, but it's nice to know that someone or other people really do love these products as well. Um, so yeah uh, like I say the first instalment is lipsticks and they are liquid lipsticks, regular lipsticks, but they are lipsticks that I love. They're li lipsticks that I would recommend to anybody, um, whether they're family members, friends, or of course, um, you watching this video. And yeah, I, I love them. There's all different price points as well, from the less expensive to the more expensive, um, and the formulations are slightly different as well. So the first one that I want to share with you is from the range Nip and Fab. This one is £7.95 and you can pick it up from uh, superdrug.com or superdrug stores that stock the brand Nip and Fab. Now this one is in the shade Pink Lemonade and this will be a running theme through the lipsticks that I'm going to share with you because I love a neutral uh, tone but I also like that with you know pink running through it it's what I think suits me I find it comfortable uh, to wear um, not comfortable as in how it applies but I find it comfortable to wear a neutral pink uh, very similar to what I'm wearing today and yeah I, that's what I go for and it also suits the makeup looks that I'm uh, creating although recently I have been um, definitely well, the eyeshadow looks that I'm creating are definitely deeper than what I'm used to, and I'm loving that. Um, yeah, I, and I'm using a lot more neutrals. I'm also using, if the eye is uh, more of a neutral look, I'm also being encouraged by the lipsticks that I'm that I've got within my collection, and I'll speak about that more in a moment, to actually go for brighter lipsticks. So this one is from the, it's like a neutral, uh, from that neutral range, and um, yeah, with that pink undertone that I'm loving. So I'll just swatch that for you. Now the dofo applicator that you get with this is a regular dofo applicator. There's nothing you know um, different about it it works very well there's not a really a scent to these at all um, they do go on um, not really thick um, but they do have a slight moussey texture to them they do dry down but they do also have a little bit of um, stickiness to them not what I would say really really sticky but a little bit of stickiness um, and they don't really dry down to that extreme matte formulation um, I do like it um, and obviously I wouldn't if I didn't like it I wouldn't have included it in my top five but I really do like it I find that it's very wearable um, I would say don't possibly layer these because it's got that tackiness to it if you do layer them it just becomes you know too much but um, yeah I find that if you put on a nice layer of this obviously don't put two, another layer on top, it works really well. And you know, our lips move throughout the day. We're talking, we're uh, smiling and so forth. And even though this is slightly on that tacky side, not too much, but a little bit, um, it does make it very comfortable to wear. So that's the first one. The next one is from Jeffree Star and it's the Valour Liquid Lipstick in Androgyny. And this one is one of those well, it's deeper and it's one of those lipsticks that I've had this for quite a while and it's not something that I've reached for a great deal, but I'm reaching for it more and more because like I say, I am starting to use deeper eyeshadows and now I'm starting to use deeper lipsticks and this is definitely one of those that I'm really loving. It is definitely, um, you know, on the, well, it's, 
it is a like a neutral but it's got a plum tone rather than pink tone it's got a plum tone to it and it's just gorgeous so it's brown but with that plum which you know is still something that I love to wear that's the shade range that I love now the only thing that I'm not particularly keen on this and this is why this is number four um, is the smell of it so the formulation works really really well it does dry completely matte um, in fact it's one of those liquid lipsticks that I have to keep checking to see if I've still got it on my lips because I can't feel it once it's dried down um, and I'm always thinking you know I've eaten or I've drank something you know is it still there but it is very long lasting it's a little bit more expensive. I believe this is between 14 and 16 pounds, um, but I will list all the prices down below. And what I also really like is the doe foot applicator. There has been some thought put into this and there it's like a bit of a, um, not a bucket as such, but it's like a shelf. So it's not as flat as the nip and fab uh, applicator, uh, but uh, be and because of that, it actually picks up product. So you may want to wipe some off on the actual tube. It works really, really well and I'm loving it and it looks stunning with a dusky rose eye look, which is actually what I wore when I did a recent eye look, uh, dusky rose, and it looks stunning. Um, the next one is from Stila and it's not a liquid lipstick and it's not a lip um sorry a lipstick it is one of their um stay all day and i think they're called matificent <laughs> which is a little bit of a mouthful and it's in the shade coquille which is c-o-q-u-i i think it's double l or l-e um has featured in a recent favorites or monthly favorites video and it looks like this again it's a little bit more expensive between 14 and 16 pounds and this one looks quite cool toned in the tube but actually when you swatch it it is lovely and it's another lipstick that I had for quite a while and never wore uh, because I was, really wasn't sure about it, especially how it looks in the tube, but it really does work well. So that's Coquille from the Matificent collection. Um, I'm just going to show you that again because obviously it is a stylo, um, not a, like a lipstick and it's not a liquid lipstick. But again, this works like a liquid lipstick. It lasts all day, it's very comfortable. It goes on obviously like a lipstick, but it's amazing. I think I've touched that one there on something. <laughs> um, I just love it. Uh, again, the shade range is very, very similar. So um, the next one is again from Stila and it is one of their Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Caramello. Again, I think these are about £16 each um, and I purchased this along with the previous Stila product from the Stila UK website. Um, I love this. Now it's one of those uh, it's a flat applicator, very similar to a dofa applicator as in the material used, but it is flat. Um, they smell absolutely incredible. They are quite moussey in texture. Um, and I do, what I usually do is actually get as little product as I can on there because the, because it is quite moussey, you tend to find that if you're not... <laughs> If you've got a little bit more product on than you need, it tends to slip all over the lip. But once it's applied, the formulation is absolutely stunning. This shade is gorgeous. It's again, very neutral. I haven't even swatched it. Um, it's neutral with that pink tone and I love it. Absolutely love this. Uh, it stays all day as the name suggests. So gorgeous really beautiful that one that's why it made it to number two and then number one it's not going to be a surprise to any of my regular viewers who watch my videos every single day and I'm really thankful and grateful to anyone who does uh, watch my videos every day I really am um, immensely um, pleased 
that you do do that. So this is not going to be a surprise, but um, I can't lie and say that a product is not my favorite when it is. Now these, uh, have been available I think for about f uh, three months four months something like that um, and ever since I received them and I purchased quite a number uh, I've been wearing them nearly every day and obviously mixing these products that I'm also sharing with you in between but there was a time when I wore these every day they have got the shades that I love within this range um, now when I showed you the four lipsticks you know that I've just shown you there's one shade that always stands out from a particular range of products so for example you know Caramello stands out from the Stila liquid lipstick range for me um, and you know Pink Lemonade stands out as a favourite from the Nip and Fab and so forth um, but these all of these lipsticks stand out alone as fantastic shades fantastic formulation and although they are lipsticks they work like a liquid lipstick and what I'm talking about is the Makeup Revolution Renaissance lipsticks. First of all the packaging is stunning and I've talked about this in depth in other videos. They are four pounds. This one is Cliché which is a deep purple. Uh, this actual brand, this, this makeup range um, it is really what's got me into brights, nudes, any uh, well browns. Um, this particular shade cliche, um, and it always worried me really to wear this bright of a lipstick because if you put this lipstick on and you eat and you drink, and I'm not talking about this one, but other lipsticks that I've tried, you're left with a ring of bright colour. Now, if you wear a nude lipstick from a range that is not going to last it doesn't stand out so much but when you use a bright lipstick or a red or something like that it's you know it looks quite um, well it doesn't look very nice does it when you've got just got a ring of lipstick around your lip that doesn't happen with these they go on like a lipstick they go on quite creamy this one that I'm wearing is in the shade prime let me just swatch that cliche one for you first so they go on really creamy. They do have a little bit of a gloss to some of them. Uh, Vow, I find from the range, is it looks more matte than others. But Vow is a brown, like that, you know, that 90 shade that everybody loves at the moment. Um, and before I had the shade Vow, I never wore that kind of lipstick because they're always very intense, they're very deep uh, shades. And yes, there are deeper browns from, from uh, within that range as well. Um, but Vow really got me into wearing that brown and has encouraged me to then, you know, wear other shades of brown from within the range. So this is Prime, the one that I'm wearing. This is incredibly creamy, just like Greatest, just like Awaken. Um, and I've shared those shades with you before, but I thought I would share different shades this time uh, to be honest every single lipstick from the range is my favorite I love them all there's a shade for everybody there's a shade for every occasion um, and like I say they go on like a lipstick but they last like a liquid lipstick and they are only four pounds each this one is rebirth and it matches fantastically to those gorgeous red brown eye looks that we're all wanting to create um, just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Love it. Uh, like I say, it's that red toned brown. But they work for me. They last all day. I'm always incredibly surprised when I apply this in the morning and I don't have to apply it again at all throughout the day. And the only time that it comes off is when I take it off in the evening. Um, but it's not it is matte as in you know there's no shimmer to it but it's very creamy doesn't dry out the lips and to be honest these are a standout product from makeup revolution and they are only four pounds so that is my top five of lipsticks so we've we had in there regular lipsticks liquid lipsticks a stylo um, 
the price points were different the less expensive was four pounds but the more expensive i think was around 14 no 16 i think there's 16 either 16 or 18 obviously i'll have to put all the prices and links down below for you um, formulations are slightly different but they are all favorites they're all lipsticks that I grab for obviously the Renaissance lipsticks are the ones that I'm grabbing for the most that's why they are at my number one uh, slot but yeah I love 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 all of these and like I said at the beginning I love these type of videos because I can see what other people are loving and if I haven't seen that product before it then encouraged me encourages me to look at something that I may not have seen before or you know may not have been tempted to purchase before and if there's someone that I trust on YouTube that can show me products that uh, you know that are I haven't already got then yeah I'm really really thrilled with that and I hope that you found that helpful too so thumbs up if you have found that helpful or you want to su just support me and uh, and I'm all also so grateful for everybody that supports me and watches my videos on a daily basis I'm so impressed by you all so um, and also do subscribe to watch further videos and tutorials but thank you so much for watching until next time thank you bye